So hey what's going on guys Pesha and today I'm going to teach you how to increase your Minecraft in-game FPS all the way up to 200% or even more. It's quite easy so let's get started. Okay so I waited, the, uh, waited for the wall to render. It looks quite good. Okay, little bit of like spikes. Okay, so it's around 30 FPS, 30 to 40 FPS. Okay, so we'll try our best to improve the FPS. So let's get right into the first tip. Okay, so the first thing that we can do is open run, which you can do by typing R U N in the start menu or just doing Windows plus R. Okay, so after doing that, you just have to write temp like this and hit OK. After that, you will be seeing this folder which has several files with the extension .tmp on it. Okay, now what you have to do is simply click Ctrl plus A which will select all the files and then click Shift plus Delete. Okay, so shift plus delete and you have to click yes. After doing that, this, uh, for many of you guys, this pop-up will come. You say, what you have to do is just check this box and press skip. Now, all of, all of those files that we just deleted were the files uh, that were in the temporary storage and were not used by PC and these these are the files that are currently that are getting used by the PC so just close this and we'll go to the next step okay the second thing you want to do is to close all the useless startup apps that run in the background when you boot your PC up and it can slow your game as well as your PC so to uh, disable those apps, just uh, simply head over to the taskbar, right click and go to task manager. If your task manager looks like this, then just click on the more details button. Now go to the startup section and you just have to disable only the apps that you don't use and just ignore the programs installed by Windows. Like I don't use Java update scheduler, so I can disable it as well as the steam and all the other stuff I'll let this uh, be enabled because it's from Microsoft okay and we just have to close this and it's done so after all that now we we are going to go to the run again okay we just open run and now this time you have to type in prefetch like this prefetch and click OK. Now, this procedure is the same as uh, what we did. Uh, what we did with the temp, the same procedure. Permanently, uh, permanently delete. Okay, and yeah, do this for and skip. Okay, so I have only this file left. Okay, now I'll close this. And here you go. It's done. The temp files and the prefetch files that we just cleaned. Uh, will greatly help those of you who have a computer for a, quite a long time or haven't formatted your PC in quite a while because it also uh, gives you a boost in performance also helps you clean your PC and uh, increase your storage so yeah now after this we can further go and optimize our game and give it some more RAM priority by going into task manager and uh, clicking on the details tab Make sure that you have at least the launcher loaded. So as you can see, I have the launcher loaded. Okay, and after that, you'll see a program named Java W.exe. If you don't find it, just sort the application by memory, by memory, and the one at the top would be Java. Now right click on it and um, go to set priority after that you can choose whatever priority you want but 
don't use real time as it will mess up the fps and give you a lot of lag spikes you can go for above normal if you are recording streaming or doing something else or go high if you are only playing minecraft so for me i am currently recording so i'll go above normal change priority and it's done just remember one thing that you have to do this every time you boot up minecraft and it's uh, quite simple just go to the task manager details and just set the priority to above normal or high it's that simple and it'll greatly improve your fps and now for the final setting it's optifine a lot of you uh, knew this was coming but for those of you who don't know optifine is a mod which greatly reduces lag and has a lot of settings that you can use to tweak your performance which you can't in normal minecraft and the best part of it generally accepted in lot of servers like every server so let's uh, tweak the performance in optifine yeah so as you can see i booted the 1.14.3 minecraft with optifine so as you can see uh, when we go in the option in video settings there are a lot of new options that you can use to tweak your performance so what will we do is just um, go on each each one of them one by one so the first for graphics we'll uh, do it fast the smooth lighting we can use minimum it's helpful but if you have a very low end pc you can even go with off i'll go with minimum the smooth lighting level is up to you uh, the dynamic lights off but for me i'll keep it on fast the most important thing is the render distance we'll cover it more while we are in the game so let's keep it like that okay so we'll go into the quality and if you are really low end potato pc that i used to have you can just off all of these i'll keep it as they are okay so after that in performance you can use the smooth fps on and the fast render to on and the smooth world and fast mat to on also the dynamic update should be off and the lazy chunk loading should be on and these are mainly all the main settings that you have to do while using optifine in minecraft so let's jump into the my uh, my minecraft world and see how much the fps now so let's go okay so it loaded pretty fast it took a lot of time before okay so it's loading up let's see what happens this is happening be uh, this is happening because i'm using uh, using optifine for the first time and okay wait for some time okay so the chunks are loading okay the game start um started pretty smooth let me check the fps okay the fps is well above 40 i mean 30 as we got in the last benchmark it's easy 60 okay so it's quite nice as you can see even while i'm flying the fps is not dropping below 55 usually when flying the fps drops a lot because the chunks are always loading and here the main the chunk settings come into play and it's i like i guess the most vital setting that you can use to increase your fps so at the end of distance if you keep it um i mean uh, around 6 okay okay if you keep it around 6 as you can see i even crossed the 60 border and it's quite nice so my there are no lag spikes and my game is running smoothly it's quite nice okay Yeah so the world is loading pretty smoothly there are no lag spikes everything's running 
yeah everything is running quite smoothly and I guess it's a substantial FPS increase from nearly 40 to 60 per uh, 60 FPS so yeah that was it for this FPS guide so thanks for watching guys peace